Hi and welcome to Unit 2, Topic 1, Video 3. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to find missing angles in triangles where two sides are known. So of course, we can also use trigonometry to find missing angles, which I'm going to show you now. Now, you'll need your calculator to be able to do some of these questions. But let's start with the fact that we can calculate, of course, sine of 82. Okay, I can pop that in my calculator, and I get sine of 82, and that's equal to about 0.990268. Cool. So, what happens if I'm told that sine of some angle is equal to 0.990268? How do I reverse this operation sine? I should have seen this before, but of course, that comes out as theta is equal to sine inverse of 0.990268. And that can be found in your calculator by doing shift sine of that number. So I do, oops, shift sine of 0.990268. And that gives me not quite 82, because obviously I've rounded here. And it gives me 81.9999717. So essentially 82. So that's the reverse operation. We can do sine of a number, or we can do sine inverse of a number to get the reverse. Now, here's an important tip for sine and cos. Sine and cos are always less than one. You do sine or cos of any number, and the answer is always less than one. So that means that if you're doing sine inverse of a number, you have to do sine inverse of a number less than one, or cos inverse. Because if you do a sine inverse of 1.5, it's going to say there's a syntax error. And that's not because your calculator is broken, it's because you've used the wrong value here. Something's gone wrong in the question. And so you need to go back and have a look at that. 10 on the other hand, 10 is a separate beast. 10, you can do 10 inverse of any number. And you don't need to worry too much about why that's the case. But let's have a look at one single example. And I'll keep it simple by just drawing a pretty straightforward right angle triangle. And let's say we're trying to find this guy, and we know that 7 and 10 are our values. I've deliberately chosen 7 and made sure the hypotenuse is bigger. Got to be really careful that happens. So theta, right angle, got all the data I need. I don't have the angle, I have two sides though. This is my opposite side, this is my hypotenuse. So this is a sign question. And I've been a bit boring and stuck with sign twice now, but... No, the other two work exactly the same way. So therefore, sine of theta, that's the angle I'm trying to find, is equal to 7 over 10. And therefore, theta is equal to sine inverse of 7 over 10, or 0 0.7. And I'll just do that now. I'll do shift sine. I'll do the fraction bit. 7 over 10, close brackets. And I get 44 point four two seven zero zero four which is forty four point four three degrees to two decimal places as we as we're expecting. So there's your answer to finding that angle using inverse trig. Well thanks for joining me and I hope that you remember to check your calculators in degrees and make sure that you understand how to use that inverse trig. All the best.